Thank you for purchasing Yaystar P-Service PBX plan. Once we purchase the Yaystar standard plan, RAS function will be activated by default. RAS will offer us a Yaystar supply domain name, so we can register our link as web client, mobile, and desktop client. This domain can also be used for remote API and LDAP integration without having to deploy any public IP and port forwarding. Now to realize it, all we need to do is set up a unique domain for the PBX. For the first step, we can log into a PSERS PBX as an administrator. Then go to System Setting, find Network Setting, and move to Yaystar FQDN Tech. Here we can firstly enable Yaystar FQDN. Now we continue to customize the specific domain for this PBX. In the scroll down list, we can find a proper server for the domain service. And for the last step, we can put in our domain name. The system will check and confirm if the domain is available. If it's occupied, the system will indicate so. Once we have a domain adequately configured, click on Save and Apply. We can check the status to see if this is working normally. The domain will be valid and accessible before expired. We can continue the subscription to maintain the domain. And if the subscription expires, we can no longer enter the PBX with the domain. Now we scroll down to Remote Access Service tab. Here we can see a list of all access supported by the domain. Click on Edit to configure the corresponding access. Here we can take web access as an example. Click to enter the configuration page. First of all, we can choose to disable or enable this access. The web access is enabled by default when FQDN is activated. So it's the link as access. Then we can also further secure the access by going to the access type. Choose allowed or restricted account. Then click select accounts to limit the web access to permitted personnel only. For next step, we can also limit the web access only to certain IP. To do that, we can click on enable IP restriction to add a allowed IP address or IP range. This way, only added an IP address will be able to access our PBX through web access. Any other IP that intend to do it will be rejected directly. Once we finish it, click on Confirm. Please note that we can secure all other accesses in the list with the same manner. This will significantly enhance the protection for our PBX, so we highly recommend you to secure all enabled access. Now that we have finished the web access configuration, we will be able to get into the PBX through our domain. All right, that was all for this one. Hope you like it. Need more details about Yaystar solutions? Please visit yaystar.com. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one.